What is going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a weekend video here at Esports Talk. You know, something that's been a bit too prevalent when it comes to esports and gaming, and especially Call of Duty events, that being threats of violence, whether it be gun violence or bomb threats, we've seen it a bit too much, and they're unfortunately not too far and few between when it comes to esports and gaming events, especially given the recent years. Now brought to us, though, by a latest Hector vlog. I will link it down below for all of you guys, which he reveals some great stuff in there. Not only the day that Scump actually left Optic for Envy and then eventually came back, and the fight and event that actually led up to that. That same event though, that being UMG Philly, I believe stretching back to 2014, although in the video he actually titles it 2013. Either way, five or six years ago, this was completely different, the kind of circumstances that underwent them when he actually had a bomb threat at that same event. Here's some behind the scenes footage of how those guys did react and how I don't think it'd be the same way nowadays. All of a sudden, as we are in the middle of this tournament, people find out where we're at because everybody's posting, everybody's together, everybody's celebrating the fact that they're with each other. Somebody calls in a bomb threat. Fire alarm went off. Someone got Guess spotted. what? Strictly we're business. We're gonna be rebels, yeah. and we're staying inside with the flames. What if it? What if we burn? Must be Scumpy's hair. They could have get swatted. Yeah. yeah. All they need is stupid ass. They know the address of that. And albeit, it's, it's kind of super funny in light of it being a very serious topic. It's super funny to see guys, you know, like Nade Shot cracking jokes at Seth, the, the, his hair being the reason for fire alarms to go off. Even the team for a short second there saying they were going to stick it out in the venue that was being told to eventually evacuate, as we've now seen several times on social media. And speaking of several times, I think it's a weird blast from the past to see how they actually treated these things back in the day and how hopefully it's been changed ever since the recent couple of years where, unfortunately enough, we have seen this time and time again. Not only in Call of Duty, CSGO, and Overwatch, we have seen a slew of bomb threats out there stretching back, I believe, to 2017, a, a COD Dallas event. COD World League in Dallas saw a bomb threat there. Even 2018, Infinity Ward Studios had their own bomb threat, which led to an evacuation. Uh, I also talked about just this past year, we had a COD Miami event have threats of potential gun violence with players who were showing up to an open bracket event. And even most recently, um, I would say in between a few of those events, but most tragically, that being the Madden shooting, which led to three fights fatalities and this will be a recurrence that we see time and time again we see it across traditional sports and especially in esports and gaming when we have these open venues and especially when it comes to a scene out there that is known for trolling and for swatting and for calling in these kind of jokes and pranks it's led to many a bomb threats out there and fortunately enough a lot of arrests out there as well for the people who try and joke around and call them in it's also though uh, you know luckily enough a bit lighthearted to see back five or six years ago these guys could joke about it i only hope that nowadays if it it does happen, it's taken a bit more seriously, especially given a sign of the recent times that we have seen these kind of things lead to very serious issues. But either way, guys, trying to keep it a lighthearted topic here, a blast from the past brought to us yet again by Hector Rodriguez that will be linked down below for all of you guys. How would you react? Gosh, I hope, I hope this kind of thing certainly does slow it, but I don't expect it to slow at all, especially given our current circumstance as a scene, as we are vastly growing out there. We see more and more home and land venues out there being targeted by these kind of things. We can only hope that players and teams and organizations react a bit differently than we did when we were first in the infancy of these kind of things happening. And to then, I hope you guys all enjoy, though, breaking down esports gaming news here every single day, all day long. Until next time, I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.